side. Zero changes from their last game. They're gonna start with three in the back as they did last game. Thompson in the goal, three in the back, Miller ledge. Longmire in the middle, two holy midfielders, Fernandez and Lewis, Walden to the right, Jump to the left, and up top, Gil, Gonzalez, and Darling, the 11 chosen by head coach, Lee Bidman. Meanwhile, on Tormenta's side of things, just one change, and it's the addition of Curtis Thorne going into that right back spot for Callum Stretch. Longtime Tormenta player, left to go to USL Championships that that game was played on dirt. And here we go from one Spokane Stadium. It's the Velocity and Tormenta doing battle. Gonzalez pushing forward once again. It's Steedman in front of him. Azro Gonzalez cuts it side, plays it up top. One tire for Lewis! Punched away by Parker. And the opposition has been able to set up their defensive structure. And it's a lot harder to score when you're structured defensively than when you catch a team on a counterattack opportunity. So they need to figure out a way to find those seams and unlock the block that the opponent sets themselves in. They're gonna find some good results here in the final stretch of the season. I would also add holding on to the lead. Sometimes this team manages to score, they manage to get ahead, but once they get ahead, they get too complacent. And they quickly start to back up and oh, careful here. An opportunity, Luis Heel squares it across to Gonzalez, but a sliding effort from Jake Dangler smothers the opportunity. Velocity able to handle it on this occasion. Heel rolling it up to Dulling. He's got Lewis streaking with them. Andre Lewis plays it out wide to Gonzalez. Osriel Gonzalez takes the shot, and it's knocked away by Parker. It's kind of the reverse of what happened last time these two teams played in a 3-3 draw. Lee Viedman said that they had to start better in this game than they did last time. They certainly have done that, even if they haven't found a goal to solidify it. They went down two goals in the first 18 minutes of the game in that one, as Dulling is on the run once again. Josh Dulling looking for options. Now puts this one inside, Ooh. and Jome! It was well worked, but Ish Jome couldn't put it on frame. It's quite the undertaking to not only become a head coach, but to build a brand new franchise from the ground up. You have to learn how to handle the highs and the lows. Even the best teams in the USL have dips during the season, but the best ones get out of them quickly. So that one's headed away. Now Gonzalez rushing forward. Lewis streaking to his left, Dulling to his right. It's Lewis, gets by the defender. Andre Lewis, denied by Parker. Because he missed the challenge. Exactly. Vivas, that's a lovely ball forward. Fonseca turning on the burners. Pedro Fonseca, still inside, he shoots, it's saved. Call to action for the first time this evening, Brooks Thompson. We talked about Fonseca. We said it, we needed to see more from him. From the right corner flag. Spokane finds something here. Fonseca, first one to it. Here's Fernandez. Services it back inside in the header. Doesn't have enough dip to it, it lands on the roof. And ultimately, hits the turf without anybody making contact with it. Barty rolls it to Fonseca. Walker to Fonseca again. He shoots! Tried to pick out the corner. And this time it's out for a throw in. And that'll do it for the first half of action. Spokane with the greater share of chances. Of course, as we said. We've got a red card yeah. booking. You mentioned it, Ahmed Longmire. Looks to have been given a straight red. I mean, it's, it's understandable, the reaction from Lash. I mean, obviously not 100%, but try to secure for now a playoff spot. Fonseca, back up top to Walker. Now it's out to Steedman. Steedman puts it in play! And Vivas couldn't place it on target. The red card is an excuse, but even before the red card, Tormenta seems to be the better team in the second half, and obviously you can tell that the substitutions have made a positive impact. So far you can tell how they push forward. They're completely in the opposition's field. Nice ball from Walker. And here's a shot from Curry, the other substitute testing Brooks Thompson. Tapping it back to Walker. As Curtis Thorne takes a foray forward. 
Inside for Fonseca. He squares it to the right-hand side. Jackson Corey takes the shot himself. Not on target. To take this game a little more conservative to try to close it out. Careful here. Fonseca will take the shot himself once again. And tried to chip this one and place it nicely, but Jake Dangler plays this one out wide. Stretch, rolls it ahead for Curry. Jackson Curry with a lifted ball all the way over to Fonseca. Next with Walker up top. Aaron Walker tried to rifle it. Long distance effort, skips wide. Brooks Thompson would be playing in the same midfield and it would be for Tormenta, I think. That would cause some brains to explode. Crazy thought too. Real staples in the league for a long time for different teams. Fonseca winds up to shoot! That one not far off. Maybe a little better luck from this end. Doyle drives it in, headed towards goal, but Preston Kilwine couldn't keep it down. Dangler gets it over to Preston Kilwine. Curry knocks it in. The header is towards goal, but Brooks Thompson falls on top of it. Took advantage. It's a game where opportunities were not taken advantage of. A fair point aside between Spokane and Tormenta. Nil-nil, your final score between these two.